All right, so out at a new job site today, out on Pensacola Beach, we have begun setting all of the concrete piling for this project, which will wind up being an ICF house. Concrete piles are required for ICF houses instead of using wood piling. What I'll we'll show you here is that the concrete pile are initially set by jetting them into the sand. In future videos, we'll show the team hammering those piling into the ground to achieve the structural capacity. But uh, this is early stages, so I'll show you around. All right, so vacant lot, one of the last few out on Pensacola Beach in a subdivision called Little Sabine. It's a great area, protected water. This is a crane we're using. It's uh, got a pretty good size boom on it. We can pick up 80 foot pile if we needed to with the reach on this crane. You can see here that they've stockpiled some of the piling here on the ground. Um, these guys will be lifted up and placed just like we did the perimeter pile. So typically what happens is the, the crane, because it's so big, has to set the pile furthest away first. So they do that and they work their way towards the, the front of the street. And they basically back the, the crane out as they're going. Our team has gone through and marked all the piling. These Sharpie lines represent where they're going to hammer the pile to in the future. The orange lines are those that they jet the piling down to a, a certain level before hammering them in. As you can see, with these that are set, they've got their string lines set, and the orange line is represented by the string line in the back. Components of a concrete piling are these loops that are sticking out of the side of the concrete. These are set when they pour the piling at the factory and they're used so that we can actually lift them up into the air off of the haul trucks and set them on site. As you can see here, we've actually taken an acetylene torch and we've cut these guys off of each of the pile. What we'll do later is we'll come in and apply a non-shrink grout to cover up the holes. But if you get concrete piling, you're going to have to have some of these loops sticking out. The parts that we use for installing piling. This guy right here is a diesel hammer. It's got hydraulics in it. Enables it to develop an enormous amount of hitting power. Used on the project is a big water tank like this. And a giant diesel generated pump. This blue hose right here that's on the ground actually runs out to the fire hydrant, which you can see in the distance. We have a special device called a hydrant meter. What we do is we jet the water from the hydrant into this tank, which is basically a large reservoir, and then use our diesel pump to suck the water out of this tank into this other hose. It's kind of like a fire hose. What we do is we take the hose, we lift it up with the crane, adjacent to the piling and we use it to push the piling into the ground for the first set. 